Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this ESP has been blinking on and off for quite some time, uh, quite long enough, I think. Let's let's make it do something a little bit more interactive. Last video we learned about digital outputs, so this video we will talk about inputs. So instead of just mindlessly turning on and off, why don't we? Uh, We'll hook up a button so whenever you press the button it turns the LED on and when you release the button it turns off. Alright. So we'll, we'll bring in our machine import and we're, we're just going to use pin again. And we can initialize our LED because we already know how to do that. And we know we're going to connect a button to some pin. We have to take a look at the board. Oh, sorry, I uh, LED, that's an out. This one's the in. Okay, well, now you know how to make an input pin. Great. So, the question though is how do you read an input pin? Well, if you recall, for the output, we had on method, we had an off method, and we also had this combined multi-function or multi, yeah, multi-function value method. You could specify a value or not specify a value and it would return whichever uh, state you had it in last. That's for the output. For the input, on and off don't make sense. You can't turn an input pin on and off. But you can run value. And what this will do is return the current logic state of the input pin. Uh, it will actually read, it will read the pin and tell you if there is a voltage present on it or there's not a voltage present. That's exactly what we need. Let's look at the board and see what's available. We know we have the reset button here. We can't use that in our program because as soon as we press it, it's going to restart. The uh, pin 0, GPIO pin 0. This one also has a predefined function. If you press it and then like, you hold it down and then you reset, it puts it into bootloader mode. And it's not running your program in bootloader mode. However, as long as you don't reset it with GPIO 0 pressed, it won't go into bootloader mode and you can just sit here and press it all day long and it'll be fine. So that's kind of a use with caution. Um, but you can see that is connected to pin 0. Now at this point we know enough to write our program. But what I want to do is actually toy with this in real time. And to do that, we're going to leverage one of the uh, really amazing features of MicroPython, and that's the console, or the REPL. Like, something that you certainly cannot do with an Arduino in C++. So for that, all we need is a serial console. There's lots of serial consoles or serial terminal programs. This one, let's see, PicoCom is the name of the one I'm using. Specify a baud rate and then the port. We'll connect up, give it a reset. And um, I'm actually going to unplug it and try this again. Okay. So we see that it has booted. It, said, it's, it tells us that it's booted. But we don't see the REPL. Um, but that's not an error. It's actually 
the reason that's happening is our blank program is looping infinitely and the REPL is ready uh, and waiting to start as soon as main.py finishes. Well guess what? Main.py hasn't finished and it's never going to because it's an infinite loop. But if we give it a keyboard interrupt with control C, we drop to the REPL. In the future we'll learn how to write programs without an infinite loop so that the REPL won't be interrupted like this. Let's import the pin class from machine. Create a button on pin 0 as an input and read the value 1. So that means that right now pin 0 is is at a logic high state or, or a logic 1. So there is voltage present, there's sufficient voltage present on pin zero that it's a logic one. What happens if we press it? It switched to zero. So we see that our switch is, or our button is active low. When you press the switch, when you press, I keep calling it a switch, it's really a button. <laughs> it's uh, When you press the button, it changes from one to zero because it actually connects it to ground when you press it, okay? So that's cool, now we know exactly how our switch behaves. We can uh, reset using the button, but since we're in the REPL, we can also just hit Control D, and it says Soft Reboot. You'll notice our REPL is not responding anymore because the while loop has begun. And we could go back into the REPL, into the REPL by hitting Control C, but we don't need to. So I'm just gonna Control A X to get out of PicoCom, and let's finish up our program. So unfortunately, since we haven't learned how to avoid these while loops quite yet, I've got to use one again. This time. I want to, uh, for, for each iteration, we'll check if the button's value is zero, then we should turn the LED on. Otherwise, the LED should be turned off. Very readable, very easy to see what's going on. And with that, we'll put our new code on give it a reset no more blinking that's good you press the button LED comes on release the button and it goes off that's kinda of fun so in the next video we'll look at a strategy for eliminating these while loops that uh, ruin the REPL experience um, and, but until then, this is what we've got to work with, and uh, thank you for watching. Have some fun with this, and I will see you in the next tutorial.